Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome to my book club one more time. So today we have the book Alibaba. Alibaba, the house that Jack Ma built by Duncan Clark. Of course, you all know guys, if you don't know Alibaba, Alibaba is one of the biggest and the most useful platform in the universe for e-commerce, okay? Okay guys, so we're gonna talk about six big ideas okay regarding to this book and this summary today so let's get it started so big idea number one the fact that alibaba was once just a dream on paper proves that nothing is impossible when it was launched by jack ma and a few other partners 20 years ago nobody could imagine that alibaba would grow to become a household the name in just a few short years the founder jack ma had a dream from the onset, he kept saying to whoever cares to listen that his company would take the word. But there were no resources at the time to substantiate his dream. He just had a dream and a plan which he kept improving upon as he gained wisdom through books and personal experiences. But isn't that how all great empires are built? No one starts out knowing how 1 plus 1 equals 2. One thing highly successful people do is dream big, start small no matter the lack of resources, and then keep improving over time. A great mark of success is that you never stop learning. A learning will make you distill time tested principles that, if applied properly, would produce desired outcomes. You'll see this proven in Jack Ma's life as you continue in the summary for the remaining chapters will focus on exploring the inner lives of Alibaba and famous entrepreneur Jack Ma. Get ready because you're about to collide with a wealth of information that can change your life forever. Okay, big idea number two. There are three competitive edges that make Alibaba stand out. Alibaba may be enjoying success in the eyes of the world, but they didn't just jump into it. After all, they are not the only conglomerate in the world. So what makes Alibaba stand out this much? Three things, which Jack Ma calls the Iron Triangle. E-commerce, logistics, and finance. Let's take a closer look at these one after the other. Number one, the e-commerce edge. Alibaba Group Holdings have several websites, but the most popular ones used for e-commerce are Tobo and Tmall. The two sites are similar, but there is a little difference between them. Firstly, Tobo is accessible to all. Any merchant can sign up and get a space to sell their product or service, and it's absolutely free. Unlike Tobo, Tmall is more like an exotic mall. This site consists mostly of popular luxury local and international brands. Even Amazon has a space on Tamal where they sell imported materials. The logistics edge. Nothing makes e-commerce more reliable than a quick and efficient delivery system. Alibaba knows this well. Initially, the conglomerate partnered with top delivery companies in the country. But over time, Alibaba and the top three delivery companies in China Shintong, STO Express, Yontong, AYTO Express, Zontong, ZTO Express, and Yonda, alongside a few others, partnered to invest in a firm called the China Smart Logistics or Kainayo. Together, these companies are a force to be reckoned with. Presently, they handle more than 30 million packages a day and employ more than 1.5 million people across 600 cities. So Jack Ma says, China changed because of us in the past 15 years. We hope in the next 15 years and the world it changes because of us. The second edge is the financial edge. Trust is a big deal in online transactions. The financial edge is the last in Jack Ma's iron triangle. He came up with Alipay, a PayPal substitute handled directly by him. Alipay is now by far the most popular online payment tool in China. It's not only used by customers buying from Alibaba, but just like PayPal, the tool can be used for just about any online transaction you can think of. When buying from Alibaba, there is a form of a screw developed to earn the trust of customers. When you find a product you like and pay for it, your money goes straight to the Alibaba account and will only be released to the merchant when the product is delivered to you and you like it. If you don't, you reject the product and get your money back. 
You may start losing customers when people know your business doesn't handle their online transactions with utmost priority. Big idea number three, journey to building a global empire is not an easy one. Jack Ma's experience growing up had a tremendous impact on his life and career, even to this day. He grew up as a poor Chinese boy who had a hard time understanding mass. Because of this, he had to write the pre-college examination severally, but his persistence later won. He passed considerably on the third attempt. The score he got wasn't enough to get him to elite school, so Jack Ma had to settle for a teacher's college where he learned the English language. It's another surprise that Jack Ma did incredibly well in his studies. He was always fascinated with English. As a child, he regularly volunteered himself as a tour guide for tourists from English-speaking countries just so he'd test his English skills on them and also get to learn some new words and phrases. Jack Ma concluded his studies and began his teaching career. In the beginning, he lectured in high institutions alone, then later began creating a business out of his skill. He was organizing English classes for locals interested in upping their English language. It's from this little business that his first agency, Hope Translation, was born. The agency's focus was on helping local companies find customers overseas by solving the language barrier through translation. His experience with Hope Translation, coupled with his childhood experiences and other lessons he learned from people contributed to the philosophy of Ren Alibaba. Very few companies carry the personalities of their founders and Alibaba is one of them. From its sex value system to its work culture, it's evident that Alibaba is a reflection of the power of commitment and persistence. He also abhors complaints about celebrates teamwork any day, any time. And this is evident in the work culture obtainable in Alibaba. Alibaba operates on six value systems called the six vein spirit sword. They are customer first, teamwork, embrace change, integrity, passion, and commitment. So if you are the founder or executive of a company, it will be difficult to separate your personality from the company's culture. You will always shape and influence the work culture your employees will find themselves in because you are the major decision maker. As such, it's necessary to be a person of character, be inspiring, exciting, positive, and motivating. So did you know that Jack and Jack Ma's name was given to him by a tourist he befriended in Hangzhou who, who couldn't pronounce Ma Yun properly? So big idea number four, generating awareness is your number one key to success when venturing into a new market. So when you venture into a business that's not very common, you will have difficulty making progress. This is because people can seldom tell the value of your product or service. If you find yourself in such a situation, the only way out is to invest massively in awareness campaigns. Use any medium and strategy that seems best to you, but be sure to create awareness before you start selling products or services people aren't familiar with. For example, when digital currencies like Bitcoin were first introduced, its evangelists had to put in a lot of effort in making sure the public understood the value of what they were bringing on board. The bottom line is, people will never do business with you when they cannot see how it will positively affect their lives. When Jack Ma started China Pages, an internet company that created websites for Chinese businesses, there was literally no internet access in his locality. This made it difficult to attract customers since the potential ones couldn't see how his online company could project their visibility to the outside world. He restored to creating massive awareness, and though it was difficult at first, opportunities began to open up, especially when China started catching up with the information age. So Jack Ma says, with good strategies, you will definitely survive. Jack Ma had to leave China pages after some time due to internal problems. He learned major lessons from co-running that business, lessons he would later apply in running Alibaba. So, big idea number five, three vital business lessons about dreaming back. Aside from being a relentless man with excellent work ethics, Jack Ma is a visionary. He never dreams small and he has developed the skills of following through with his dreams until they become a reality. This is demonstrated through his journey of building the great Alibaba business empire. The first thing is to learn from Jack Ma 
about dreams is you can never go beyond them. If you dream small, you will indefinitely put in small effort and that will lead to small achievements. But big dreams will inspire you to break limits. All things equal, your big dreams will motivate you to be committed and persistent. And these qualities will help you achieve great success. The second lesson is to start where you are with the experience and resources that you've got. When he started Alibaba, Jack Ma's competitors in Silicon Valley were focusing on large businesses, but he knew he couldn't do the same thing. He lacked experience in that area. His experience was in running small businesses, so Jack Ma stuck to his area of strength. The third lesson is similar to the second. You do not copy your competitors because you don't know the whole story. Find what works for you and stick to it. So big idea number six and the last one, don't be afraid to change your business model or fight a big competitor. In the beginning, Alibaba was an e-commerce platform of B2B transactions, but after a while, Jack Ma realized there was something wrong with that business model. The business stopped bringing much profit like before. On the basis of that and a few other reasons, Jack Ma decided it was time to branch into consumer e-commerce. That will be a relatively new business model in China. At the time, only one company was known for running that model. But soon, eBay would enter the Chinese market through each net and become Alibaba's biggest competitor. Consistent with his ambitious nature, Jack Ma's goal right before branching out was to dominate the market. And that meant beating eBay. For someone observing from outside, it would be an impossible task. How can a new company possibly beat a global organization? But Jack Ma had his strategies and he was patient. Patience and good strategies are two important factors that will take you far in business. We can learn a couple of things from Jack Ma's strategy. The first is the element of surprise. Jack Ma started the plan of Tobo, his consumer e-commerce business, underground. He picked a few trusted and experienced Alibaba employees and explained his plan to them, then asked them to begin work on creating Tobo. It was two months after the site was up and running that Jack Ma publicly declared that Taubo was a part of Alibaba. The second lesson from Jack Ma about beating a strong competitor is doing things differently. No one will patronize your new business when they don't see how it's different from the existing brand that they love and trust. Two things that made Taubo different from eBay are pricing and communication eBay charged merchants some amount of product listing, whereas Tobo made it free for anyone to put up their product or service on the site. Tobo discovered there was weak communication between buyers and sellers on eBay, so they took advantage of this too. Jack Ma ensured that systems were in place to facilitate a smooth and easy communication between customers and merchants. With these added advantages, it was only a matter of time and circumstance before Tobo kicked eBay out of China and dominated the market. Jack Ma says, you should learn from your competitor, but never copy. Copy and you die. Okay guys, so those were the six big ideas on this book, Alibaba. Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave you with this. If you've started a business or plan on doing so, there is one important exercise to carry out. Write down your vision for that business. Make it as detailed as it can be. Next, place it somewhere you can see it regularly. This will help keep you motivated. Okay guys, so that was it for today's summary. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So make sure to like the video and subscribe in order to see more books and more summaries to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all and I love you so much. See you next time.